I think these stir sticks are a really good beginner project because you can practice all kinds of fundamentals with these. You know, you can practice all the basics of shaping rod, making spheres, making marias, abulios, different shapes, paddle shapes. You can work with canes. So all the basics of working with solid forms you can practice by making stir sticks. And then the really great thing is you end up with something useful that you can give away or sell. So it's a great beginner project that's practical and you're not just wasting glass while you learn. I think that's a great idea. So for this video I'm going to make a simple one and I'm going to make just one of them all at once. So I have to do it a little bit more complicated. If you were going to do these in production you would make one end and then you would let that end cool down and then just pick it up and do the other end that way. But because I'm going to try to make it all at once I have to make one end and then cold punty onto that end and then I can finish the other end off. So to start this project I basically have a 7 millimeter rod that I flattened out the end a little bit on and I've got another rod and I'm just going to tack on to it and make like a cold seal here. You don't have to do it this way. You could just work in the middle of a rod if you want. But just tack that on, straighten it out here. And then with a fairly small flame like this, I'm just going to go in and rotate and heat in one spot. So don't go back and forth like that. Just heat in one spot. when it starts to get pretty floppy, give it just a little bit of inward pressure. Don't really push, just let the glass gather up on itself. And I'm flipping around so it's going to come out a little off-center because my heat's going to be off-center as well. But once you have that just about the size that you want, Then come out of the flame, straighten it, and let it set up. Keep rotating while you look at it. Then just go down the rod a little bit and do another one. You can make like three or four of these on every stir stick, you know, so you can really practice doing this. And it's great practice for even heating and learning how to keep things straight and centered. So that's quick and dirty, but it's not bad. So now I'm just going to gather up a little bit more of the end here. And maybe take some of that off. Remember to adjust your flame if you want more heat or less heat. There we go, that's about right. So 
he's not up. Straightening it out. And I'm going to flatten the end just a little bit. Kind of like that. And that gives me a nice footprint for my color. Grab the right rod. Anyway, I'm going to use this blue Stardust. And I'm just going to put that right onto that footprint area that I made. You want to be sure to attach it evenly and over the whole surface. So plunking on there good. And then start gathering up some more rod. And to make it easy, I'm just going to estimate and cut off how much I need here. And then very simply, I'm just going to gather this up into a sphere. So I can use a lot more heat for that. So I'm going to melt that whole section of rod into just a big marble, essentially. Now you do have to be careful with this blue stardust. It will boil on you if you heat it up too fast. So you want to be right about where I'm at in the flame and not right here. Right, that might boil it. So I come out just a little bit farther and I wait for it. And I'm angling the rod upwards into the flame here. But when it starts to get close to being done, I'll hold it level so that I get a spear instead of like a like a more squat shape that I would get if I was holding it up. And I'm trying not to heat the clear glass because I don't want it to move yet. Just heating that blue stardust and gathering it up into that clear footprint. Now I am heating the clear a little bit. That's getting nice and round all by itself, but you could use your marble shaper if you want here at this point. Round it out. But yeah, just come out of the flame and let it set up. That looks pretty good. So now, like I said, if you were making production pieces, you would just set this down and you would make the top of your next one. You would do 10 or 20 of those, and by that time, this would probably be cooled down enough that you could pick it up by the finished end and hold it. And that way, you could, you could finish it that way. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just cold plenty onto my marble. So 
I'll hold it out and straighten that out. You want this connection to be straight. So then I have this little piece of wood that I made that tells me how tall a cup is approximately. So what I do is I go from the bottom of my first decoration and I measure out however far I need. So, you know, really it's, it's right about there where I was holding it. So I'm going to come in and cut that off. Just flame cut my rod right there. Straighten out the end of both of these there. That looks good. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of the blue scar dust on the other end here. So again, first Pop that out a little bit. I just want a flat spot here. I don't want a bulge like I did on the other one. Then I can start putting the stardust on here. how much I want here. Just make a little tiny blob there. My camera is totally in the way, so I'm definitely going to have to do a different position for that. But again, just kind of gather this up into a round ball. letting gravity and, and the flame shape it. So there we go. That's done. Now I use these Kevlar tongs, but you could cold plenty on or you could wait for it to cool off, use a claw grabber, use um, forceps, anything to hold it, but just finishing up the plenty mark there. That one was pretty bad, so I really heat this up good. Yep. So that's it. Um, take the filter off. 
That's what it looks like. Still not cooled down yet on that end. Got the nice blue stardust on that end there. So yeah, very simple.